Here's an example we see a lot in our algebra class that gives students a lot of trouble. It says find all values of x such that f of x equals zero and then they'll provide you with a function. And I think it's just the wording that throws students off. When they see this um, find the values of x such that f of x equals zero, so many students think that they're supposed to plug in zero. And so what they'll do is they'll take f of zero and then blah 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 and they'll get a number but that's not correct because that's not going to give you an x value that makes the function be zero. Um, instead they're trying to plug in zero which is which is incorrect. What we want to do in this situation is we want to actually set the function equal to zero and here's why. When you're asking what x value makes the function be zero what you're basically asking is what number if you plug it in for this x and this x and evaluate the function x squared minus 5x minus 14 you want that answer to be zero or yield zero as your y value and so when you take for example x squared minus 5x minus 14 and you set it equal to zero this is almost like asking a question uh, you could even put a question mark what x would make this entire thing, which is f of x by the way, what x value would make this equal zero? And so what we have to do is solve this quadratic equation. Well, we're very comfortable solving quadratic equations. We, we try to solve them by factoring. That's the typical way of solving these guys. So I will um, set two parentheses up here, um, equal to zero. Uh, this guy will factor with an x and an x and we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 14 and add to negative 5. So I think that's going to be negative 7 and plus 2. And I skipped a little bit of the algebra there. That's not really the focus of this video. But, um, but negative 7 and plus 2 would be the right numbers to put there. And So this guy would factor to x squared minus 5x minus 14. And so now, as we well know, we'll set these individual factors equal to 0. We'll have x minus 7 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. So we get our two solutions, x equals 7 and x equals negative 2. So I'm going to circle these guys and now let me reread the question and see if it makes sense. Um, find all the values of x, like 7 and negative 2, that make the function be 0. And sure enough, we can try either of these. I don't think I'll take the time to try both of them, but I'll try one of them. What is f of 7? When we plug in 7 for x, let's try it. 7 squared is 49, minus 5 times 7 is 35, 49 minus 35 is 14, and 14 minus 14 here on the end gives you zero. You found the x that gave you zero for your function. So just remember when you see a, an example like this, um, we're gonna set the function equal to zero and then solve for the x's that would make the equation be zero.